right guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're ready to do the shakedown. I'm gonna be going to Fall Creek Falls State Park, and I believe it's in Pikeville, which is also Spencer, um, Tennessee. So I made the reservations. It's uh, Saturday into Sunday. And so today's Saturday. Last night I did a lot of prep work in terms of getting the um, van ready to go. Um, and so we're on the road right now and we're headed to Fall Creek Falls State Park. So it should be an interesting adventure. Um, I gotta stop at Walmart because I gotta pick up some groceries because my refrigerator is pretty much empty. At 1,000 feet, turn right. So we're leaving, um, let's see, we're leaving Rock Island, Tennessee right now. I stopped off at the Rock Island State Park um, to see if I could get reservations there and they are booked. So no go. Um, so turn we're going right to on Sparta Highway. Fall Creek Falls. Fall Creek Falls State Park. And um, check-in time is four o'clock, and it is looks like it's 1:28 p.m. right now, and there is a ton of traffic. So I'm getting on State Road 70 South. Let's see here, I'm going to turn you around. Okay guys, so I'm finished with my Walmart shopping. Right now we're headed to get some gas. All right, so we are in the back country of Tennessee for sure. And uh, we're heading to Fall Creek's Fall State Park. And uh, this is beautiful out here. You know, it's mountainous, not really, I, I should say hilly, it's hilly, not necessarily mountainous. Taking the scenic route for sure. I need to keep uh, filming so you guys can see how beautiful this area is. I mean, it is really remote out here. Um, like, I live remotely, but this is even more remote than I live. I mean, you'll go for miles before you'll see another house. You know, there's one here and then 10 miles later you'll see another one. At the next stop sign, turn left. All right, so we have arrived at the state park. Now I gotta figure out where I'm going. I wanna get to the office, I think. All right guys, so I've been driving around this park like a crazy person because I've been lost. And this place is like a maze, it's huge. There's tons of campgrounds. And uh, I think there's like four different campgrounds you can go to. So um, I finally found my way, I think. So I'm heading there now. I just checked in, got my Tennessee resident discount, which is really nice. And now I'm heading to my site. Sight that is. All right. 
So I arrive to the camp and I finally find my site. I back in and in this video, you could see I'm beginning to set up. So um, I realized that I was not level, so I needed to get myself leveled. So I um, got that situation resolved and, um, you know, move the RV to a level spot. Of course, you can see I'm missing the levels, so I have to get back in the truck and fix the leveling. Uh, but I eventually get the uh, RV level and um, had a very comfortable level, actually. Um, the site wasn't really that far off, so um, I get myself hooked up to the um, sewer, which is really nice because I wasn't expecting to have a sewer um, connection. And then test the water out, make sure that we're good in good shape, and rinse out the hose. And then I get the hose hooked up to the van and pressurized and um, actually worked out very well, no issues. And then uh, one of the things I realized when I was putting the electric in is I had forgotten my surge protector at the house. All right, so coming out in the back, you've got your power and water. Um, and this site actually had sewer, which is really pretty cool. So, and it's a, I wanna say it's a corner site because there's really nobody around me. Uh, big campground over there, and then here's, this is it. So it's actually pretty nice. And then over here, we've got the city water fill, we've got power, and you can see my propane tanks on. So we're pretty stealthy. Um, I think it works really good. And um, I'm really glad I selected this campground. It's a little loud with dogs barking and cars and everything, but it really is a beautiful place. All right, it's time for some coffee. Let's do some coffee. Oh. You know, it's funny. I felt like I drove for eight hours today. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm just getting a little bit settled having my coffee it's been a really good trip <laughs> the interesting thing is is I took a wrong turn coming out of um, Rock Island and ended up going to Sparta which was fine because I needed to stop at Walmart anyway so I stopped at Walmart then the um, the uh, uh, GPS took me on all of the back roads. Now you should have seen some of the footage of that in my intro, but uh, man, that was crazy. Those zigzags and fortunately there was no traffic. Plus we were going uphill. Now I said hills in the, uh, um, in the introduction. I said, like, oh yeah, the, look at these little hills. Well, I paid the price because they're definitely not hills. I mean, we went up about a thousand feet in grade and it was a direct climb, uh, but the, the van did really good, um, no worries. So I'm gonna show you around a little bit and show you what I did. Um, we're still not quite there, but all the systems have been hooked up and as a part of the shakedown, I wanna make sure that they're all working. And so far, everything's working. I have the um, propane tanks on, I've got the Truma running for the hot water. We're hooked up to city water, city water. we're hooked up to sewer. We got full power, 30 amp. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a little crowded in here right now, which I suspect that the van's going to be until I officially move in, but very comfortable. Um, so let me give you a look around. All right. The first thing is the window cover. So as you can see here, I've got the window covers on. Um, I'm certainly not stealth by any stretch of the imagination, but the window covers fit beautifully. The magnets work well. Um, you know, my first time putting them on, so they weren't too bad. The kitchen, still a mess. So same thing over here, but you'll see I have the covers on back here as well. A little dark now. When I first got here, I had the back open and I realized I don't have a back screen. And apparently these models don't come with a back screen, but they do make them. So I'm going to definitely want to get a, a, um, a back screen for this back door. All right, guys, here's dinner and my Diet Pepsi. We're all set. 
All right, so I still need to do the dishes, but the uh, Truma water heater is currently on, uh, as you can see here. I have it on hot, and it's heating up the water right now as we speak. So, but once the water's heated, I'll go ahead and get the dishes done. But here is the bed; it's all made up and ready for sleepy time and I'm tired tonight so I think that'll actually be very comfortable at least I hope it will be we'll see <laughs> all right so this is what the front of the van looks like <laughs> it's got everything all up there all the cushions and everything but I mean it's it's all situated it's all ready I mean listen everything fits it's just very compact that's all just very compact but it's perfect for what I need it for Okay, so I'm trying to sleep, and here's the situation. That light up there is really bright. Really bright. Hey, everyone. So I'm leaving the state park, and I got to tell you, it was a wonderful trip. Um, everything on the RV worked as it was supposed to work, which is great. And... Um, Overall, I had a good night. I mean, I had a hard time sleeping, but I don't think it was because of, you know, the bed or anything else. I think it was just because I was all hyped up for the day. So I think I finally fell asleep about 2 o'clock in the morning. When I looked outside the window after I had all the lights off, there was trees that had these lightning bugs that almost felt like they were pulsating up the tree. Now, I couldn't get it on camera. I tried, but I can tell you what, it was absolutely stunning. Um, the campsite overall was excellent. I had full hookups, including water, electric, and dump uh, sewer. So that was good. So I was able to dump the tanks. And the final uh, thing I needed to do this morning on my final test was the shower. And um, I took a shower this morning and it was great. Um, really good pressure, you know, no issues there. And uh, the only thing is I ran out of hot water towards the end of it so <laughs> but it was really good um, no issues with the van um, it's gonna be a great van to travel in uh, I'm, I'm actually really excited to start making some trip plans now and um, get moving so I hope you liked this uh, shakedown video uh, for my first van life trip and um, definitely a thumbs up if you liked the video. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel. Um, we got a lot of exciting adventures coming up. So, and I want to thank you all for watching and um, you know being a part of Paddy Wagon Travels. All right, everybody, I will see you next time on the road. <laughs>